them. So it wasn't until my senior year in high school that I considered the importance of interdisciplinary learning. Starting from young age, art has always been a priority, so I pursued it. Right after middle school, I applied to the Screen Art program here at Murrow, got in, and began my high school career as an artist. Based on the courses offered, I thought that I was going to be a curator, a graphic designer, or a starving artist. <laughs> and although I respect the craft, somewhere along the line, I felt that I was capable of producing more than art. Eventually, I joined the MSTAR program, which provided the platform to experiment in science research. And in this program, we did technical writing to prepare us to write a 15-page research paper on an experiment of our choice. And I found that the skills I would use in this class would actually aid me in other classes. For instance, we developed the ability to find credible information on a subject and critically analyze it in a way that connects to the question at hand. Yet in my art class, we needed to use the same skills. And one assignment required us to pick a line in a poem and create a piece of artwork. And so my teacher handed us a poem called The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot and sent us off to do whatever we saw fit. But before I could produce a piece with any depth, I had to do some research on the subject in order to fully interpret the work of literature. And one of the lines in the first stanza specifically caught my attention. It said, April is the cruelest month. And with the help of a classmate, we deducted that Eliot was referencing a time of war which resulted in a mass of dead bodies covered by the snow. And inevitably, the warm weather in April would melt the snow and reveal the remnants of war. And so the meaning of this line inspired me to create an entire series of oil paintings. And so here are some of them. And despite what I was learning from both courses, doing both was hard really hard. I found that in my junior year particularly, I was spreading myself too thin. Starting at 8 a.m., I would go straight to AP Biology for two periods, then immediately following, I had AP English, and right after that, I had advanced mixed media course. And from there, with no lunch break or free period, I would run from the fourth floor to the first just to grab lunch, only to go straight to my advanced oil painting class, followed by Honors U.S. History. And after the school day, I would muster up the energy to go straight to an art-related after program at a place like the Whitney or the New Museum. And I found that I was more focused on completing the work assigned from each class that I couldn't actually absorb all of the information. Out of a six-hour school day, I was spending two hours on art and another two on biology. And I was, I was trying to complete the work rather than actually hone each skill. However, I shouldn't have to overwhelm myself just to pursue two areas of study that actually go along with each other. And if we combine both art and science into one course, then it would allow for students like me to pursue two areas of study while in the time span of one course. The type of course I'm talking about could use art to understand science or science to understand art. For instance, in my biology class, if we did a close study of molecular structures, using oil paint or charcoal, then I may have better understood that unit. Or in my art class, we could have did a close study of the anatomy from a scientific point of view. And in realizing that my courses could be more dynamic, I began to understand that incorporating interdisciplinary perspectives in the classroom setting is a crucial component of learning. And Unfortunately, classes at Murrow typically feature one area of study, which is limiting in that it breaks connections between two areas that actually complement each other. And in retrospect, the things I did in my science and art class actually went along with each other, but I would have never made those connections had I stuck to one area of study the way in which I was encouraged to. This is why we should restructure our courses to incorporate interdisciplinary perspectives and in that, we can improve upon the way in which we learn and appeal to students like me who have several areas of interest. Thank you.